Hi guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Do you remember this vintage clothes hamper I got at a garage sale? Well, I decided to try this linen white chalk spray paint. Uh, it's supposed to be matte and sandable, so decide to use it. I think it would fit perfectly and I do two coats of it. Um, I, I could have done three if I wanted it stark white. I wanted to leave a little bit of the green coming through because I wanted to leave the inside the original green color. I do think that it's a, a shabby color and I like that. Uh, the only problem is whoever painted it before got green on the lid, on the edges of the wood. Okay, I wanted to actually leave the lid unpainted and the natural wood color, so I just sanded off all of that paint and then kind of roughed it up with the sandpaper as well. At that point, I cleaned the entire thing with hand sanitizer. Maybe that sounds strange, but I don't know who else touched it, and I wanted everything just cleaned up and then just sanded really well. So after I've gotten the lid taken care of, I go over the chalk spray paint and sand it, sand the inside edges, and I love this spray paint. I got it at True Value, of course. I decide I wanted to use those same napkins that I got at the Dollar Tree, so this piece would actually match the wood crate that I had done in another DIY. So they will kind of go together. So I cut the napkin in half and that way I can use both sides, but I want to cut this these roses out uh, following the lines. I don't usually do that in decoupage, but in this piece I wanted to do that. So I grab my Mod Podge, take the back off the napkin and prepare my surface with the glue. After the glue is applied, I place my two pieces very carefully and if you are using napkins you want to be very gentle they rip very easily um, I didn't want to press them down in the center yet I kind of want to cut the pieces to where they're not really laying on top of each other um, that might sound a little bit strange and it doesn't usually matter with Mod Podge but when you're using napkins and especially on a natural wood surface they kind of uh, are iridescent or see-through, so if I want everything to look uniform, I, I don't want any napkin underneath another one. So I cut them uh, into place and carefully start pushing things down, and I use my brush to do that to begin with, and just try to get all the wrinkles out. I want a little bit, um, and as you can see here, um, even applying that first layer of glue. You have to be so careful with napkins. They just lift up so easily. So, uh, like I said, I did want a few wrinkles in it and that's for sanding later. I think I put three coats. You can put as many coats on as you want. Let them dry very well in between and then you can sand it after you're done. And as you can see, it's, um, beautiful i love how it turned out i chose this kind of peach colored ribbon to put around it i didn't want a lot added to this hamper and i start gluing on the natural corner edge of this hamper and i just hot glue it on there um sometimes i i would like to use hot glue that way if i change it later it's easy to t remove and change out i'm one of those people i like to rearrange and change things often so i like that option uh, after i get my peach ribbon down i add halfway down that ribbon a, a lace ribbon and then just a tiny little bow a simple bow and sand everything real well so here it is. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys liked it as well. Uh, if you did, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.